What's up everybody, Tim Vicks here and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I remember sitting in the back seat of my dad's car, 12 year old me, almost half asleep after watching a late night movie with my family, mentally preparing an answer for a question that my dad is going to ask and that is, what did you learn from this movie? He would ask this question irrespective of which movie we watched. It could be a biopic, it could be a Disney animation, even a Bollywood masala movie. <laughs> What did you learn from this movie? And I kind of enjoyed answering that question because he did not have a predefined answer for that. I even remember saying, after watching that movie, I learned that I should never make such a bad movie. <laughs> Time passed, but the question stayed with me. Slightly modified version, and that is, what did I learn? And this kind of paved way to a mindset of constant learning under any circumstance. So how exactly is this question helping me change my life? Let's talk about it. First off, it helps you to summarize your experience. A new activity or a new environment can be quite overwhelming. There are so many things happening at once. You are trying to understand the processes, you are trying to learn the terms, and also you are trying to focus on delivering good results. While you are in a pursuit of achieving all these feats at once, there is always a possibility that you miss out on the real learning part. Registering the things that really matter and that helps your skills level up. Asking this question, what did you learn? helps you to summarize your experience in a concise manner, highlight all the key experiences that help you level up. Which brings me to the next point. Since you already prepared a summary, it also helps you to identify the not so obvious value points. The most crucial part here is to ask this question in every scenario, positive and negative. Trust me, you would be surprised by the answers you come up with if you analyze the situation in a proper way. The answer for what did I learn doesn't always have to be about recognizing your strengths, but it can also be about identifying and acknowledging your weaknesses. For example, you did an amazing presentation at your work. Pop up this question to yourself and you'll probably get responses like you love talking about XYZ subject or the audience is more attentive after a coffee break. Case 2, you messed up an interview, it's okay. Ask yourself this question again. Your responses could be that physical interviews work better for you than the digital ones, or maybe your home is more noisier during the morning time, and so on. <laughs> you get the point, right? So you're never gonna identify these value points unless you ask yourself this question. And asking this question and identifying these value points is gonna keep you more prepared. And as my favorite quote says, victory always lies in preparation. The third benefit is that it helps you maintain a positive spirit. When things do not go according to your plan, this question comes to your rescue. Personally, I'm someone who loves to derive value from any given situation. And asking this question to myself reminds me that I'm continuously learning something new. So no matter how bad the situation is, when I realize that I'm learning something new out of it, it immediately uplifts my spirit. Rather than seeing an unavoidable bad situation as a waste of time or a non-productive activity, convert it into a learning experience. Analyze, learn and grow. Which is kind of linked to the next point and that is it helps to disconnect emotion from a negative action. A heated argument with a close one, getting negative remarks at work or any situation which stimulates our emotions to an extent where our rationality seems to stop working. Asking why this situation happened followed by what did I learn helps me calm down and clears the emotional cloud in my head. Don't get me wrong, I do believe that emotions are necessary to connect with people. And as humans, emotions are innate to us. But the problems arise when the emotions start controlling us and affects us and our journey towards achieving our goals. The learning mindset may not necessarily eliminate emotions for everyone, but it definitely helps in harnessing them, which is the first step. And the most important benefit is that it teaches you to be a good observer. I cannot emphasize on how valuable this skill is. All my favorite characters like Harry Bosch, Sherlock Holmes, 
or who they are because of their mastery of this skill. In order to create a positive mark for yourself in the society, you need to add value. And you can add value only if you're good at observing. And the golden question that we are talking about is perhaps the first and the most important step towards developing the habit of observing. As said by Marcus Aurelius, nothing has such power to broaden the mind as the ability to investigate systematically and truly all that comes under thy observation in life. So that's all for this video guys. Thank you so much for making me a part of your day. I hope you found some value out of this video and if you did, then hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and I will catch up with you all in the next one. Till then, goodbye.